Good morning. I wanted to talk to you about a few things today, America. I want to talk to you about giving back to Jesus Christ. You know, he's the only way to truth and the life. Too many years we've been uh, exiled from him. Too many years we've been exiled from God. The reason this nation is in the trouble it is today is because we've closed our hearts and our minds to Jesus Christ and his teachings and his ways. We've gotten into the churches where it's just all this prosperity gospel where give me, give me, give me. God's going to reward you like the magic jelly beans. It doesn't work like that out of life. God has called us to a life of repentance and a life of sacrifice. What happened to the church that sacrifices? What happens to the church that goes down on its knees for its brothers and sisters? Where is that church today? Where is the church that is seeking God and repentance and forgiveness? We don't have that. All we have when we go to church today is God's going to reward you with this. God's going to reward you with that. God's going to give you pie in the sky, an old saying from years ago. Life doesn't work like that. No. Jesus said they hated him. Why wouldn't they hate us? We are his only living witnesses today. It's up to us to evangelize the world. The world isn't going to go on much longer. Look around you. Look at everything going on. Terrorism, people being killed every day, man turning against man, the inhumanity of man against man. It's overpowering. Satan is as strong as ever in the world today. And it's time that we wake up to the truth. There is only one way, and that is Jesus Christ. And if we don't tell the world, who is? Who is? Who's going to tell him if we don't? We are called. We are his living witnesses. We are the only witnesses left. We are the watchmen and watchwomen. We are the ones who stand on the tower and tell people about the upcoming doom that is coming to this world. It's not for us to sit and preach to people, to sit back and enjoy all the pleasures of this life. No. Not to say that God is not going to provide for his children. He will. He will give you life and give you life more abundantly. Abundantly in the spirit. When you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, this is the greatest thing that could ever happen to you. This is the greatest blessing that could ever happen to you. The peace and the joy that overtakes you. I can't put it into words. All I could say is, please America, wake up. Please church, wake up. Get off of your duffs. It's time that we are called. We are called into a life of work, a life of commitment to Jesus Christ. God isn't sitting around anymore and putting blessings on America. No. What did we do to deserve blessings? All we've done is turn away from him. From the time in the Bible when man come to God and says, we don't want you as our leader anymore. We want kings. We want uh, leaders. We don't want you anymore. Do you know how this grieved God? Wake up, America. Wake up. We've turned away from him too long. It's time that we return to him, and it's only going to be through revival. Those of us who know this cannot do it on our own. We are calling you, the church, to step up forward and to put your hearts and your lives on the line with us. We're asking you to fall to your knees. Fall face down in the ground if you have to, but don't give up the fight. Return to the Lord, and he will return to you. There's a famine in this land. Not of bread or of water, but of the word of the Lord being spread, the true word of the Lord. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other. If we soon don't return to him, how many souls are going to end up burning in hell because we didn't want to tell the truth? We wanted to keep feeding these lies. Wake up, America before it's too late and your brothers and sisters and family members are going to be burning in hell because you didn't want to tell them the truth of what was going on out there that soon Jesus Christ is going to return thank you for listening to me and God bless you all